Harriet Periwinkle was a peculiar sort of baker. No sourdough starters or flaky croissants ever graced her oven. Harriet's speciality was cat hair cupcakes. Yes, you read right. Whiskers whipped into fluffy peaks, purrs sprinkled into batter, and a faint mel melange aroma wafting from the window. Her tiny cottage was an ode to feline confections. Harriet, unsurprisingly, received curious looks and muffled snickers. Local children dared each other to steal glimpses through her lace-curtained window, only to run away gagging. But Harriet paid them no mind. She honed her craft, whispering secrets to her feline collaborators. Mittens, a grumpy Persian, and Whiskers, a ginger fluffball, as they shed strategically into her mixing bowl. One breezy Sunday, however, Harriet's life took a bizarre turn. A renowned food critic, known for his flamboyant pronouncements and penchant for the peculiar, stumbled upon her cottage. Intrigued by the cat hair cupcakes scrawled in crooked chalk on her gate, he ventured in. Now Archibald Crumpet, yes, even his name was outrageous, had tasted everything from bullfrog bouillabaisse to ostrich omelettes. Yet Harriet's creation left him speechless. The first bite was unexpected, a delicate lavender aroma followed by a surprising tang of cardamom burst on his tongue. The texture was light, airy, with an inexplicable, almost purring sensation dancing on his palate. Archibald declared it a culinary odyssey, a gastronomic revolution, and promptly devoured every last crumb. The next day, Harriet awoke to pandemonium. News trucks cluttered her lane, reporters clamored for interviews, and orders flooded in faster than whiskers could shed. Overnight, the once ridiculed cat hair cupcake had become the hottest fad. Gourmet shops, high-end bakeries, even Michelin-starred restaurants clamored for Harriet's recipe. Suddenly, Harriet wasn't just peculiar, she was a pioneer. From the Queen's Corgi to the Pope's Siamese, everyone wanted a taste of feline fancy. Harriet, who once barely sold a cupcake a week, found herself churning out batches day and night, aided by an army of recruited fluffballs. Mittens and whiskers had become ruthless mogul cats, demanding caviar breaks and silk cushions. However, fame wasn't all sprinkles and sunshine. Copycat cat hair creations sprung up, lacking the magic touch, literally, of Harriet's originals. Food critics turned vicious, dissecting each purring pastry with scathing critiques. And worst of all, mittens and whiskers developed diva-like attitudes, demanding diamond collars and tuna flown in from Fiji. One day, as Harriet contemplated her chaotic kitchen, a memory drifted back. The shy child with flower-dusted nose, giggling over a perfectly baked, unmowingly normal cupcake. Her passion hadn't been about cat hair. It had been about creating something unexpected, something that brought joy, not just through taste, but through the sheer ridiculousness of it all. So, with a mischievous glint in her eye, Harriet did the unthinkable. She invented the dog biscuit brownie, a chewy, earthy treat sprinkled with actual dog fur donated willingly by a grateful Basset Hound neighbor. The world scoffed, then chuckled, then devoured them. In an instant, the cat hair craze was dethroned, replaced by a canine conflagration. Harriet Periwinkle, the peculiar baker, continued to redefine success her own way. Every bite of her creations, be it cat-whiskered, dog-haired, or even, one dare say, earthworm-infused, don't ask, it involves a bet and a very competitive earthworm breeder, was a testament to the joy of the bizarre, the unexpected, and the sheer fun of baking something so ridiculous it could only be delicious. So, the next time you find yourself tempted to follow the well-trodden path, remember Harriet Periwinkle. Success, after all, can be found in the most unexpected places, sometimes even in a purring cupcake, a crunchy brownie, or who knows, maybe even a wriggly worm wigwam. 
Just add a dash of whimsy, a sprinkle of curiosity, and a whole lot of flour, and you never know what kind of strange and interesting success you might bake up.